Hello everybody, we're going to be using Stencil to uh, be playing around with games and stuff. I'm sorry that you can't quite see all my screen here, so I'm going to move it down and then i got to move it back up. Because I am happen to use a different recording device than the computer itself in order to get this done. Um, so as you can see, I'm playing with one of my games here. And I have all my different scenes and everything. This one says C, this one says Water, Water 2. Uh, water one left, uh, water left two, and so basically we need to take a look at our scene. As you can see, I was already playing in here. Um, let me bring it up just to here. Oh. Oop, it's not wanting to let me grab it now. There we go. Okay. So that you can see it and know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, we have our boat which sets just shy of the uh, bottom of the screen. We have our water. As you can see, the boat comes out the bottom of the actual scene itself. Uh, the, there's two sets of water. There's the front and the back. So if I turn one off, you can not You can see that there's actually two sets there. You got foreground and background. Okay, so if we go over here where it says waves, we have the first set, which is going left. I'm trying to get it in the screen here. As you can see, it says it's going left one. Right here, we're moving at a horizontal scroll speed. So if you got to have moving backgrounds, you would change it on your background property to where it says uh, right or left, whichever way. If you want it to scroll up or down, you would set your speed over in here, okay? So let me move this back over. And then, as you can see, these are my waves. And, like I said, I have two sets. I have uh, uh, waves front, waves back. And as you can see over here, one set moves right, one set moves left. Okay. So, if we go back over here to the uh, um, scene, you can see that we have our boat. And we have our seagulls, and, and inside here we have the boat itself has a behavior which means it's going to move forward to the right at a hundred uh, uh, um, interval each time, hundred picks or so, and then it's going to move up and down going at 20 up, 20 down, 20 up, 20 down, all the way across the screen. And then I also set camera follow. Which is not a real big thing because this scene doesn't move. Uh, so that attribute is not really uh, necessary for this uh, specific scene. As you can see there's no behaviors in here. But if we go back to water. We have no behaviors. But we have events. Um, the first one is enters region. Says fade out after 5 seconds. Switch to water 2. And then fade back in. Uh, stop all sounds when created we're gonna uh, do after two seconds play boating music and then we're also going to play the seagulls so we'll do the test scene and I'll try and bring that into the screen if it didn't come all the way in okay as you can see I have right and left water we have the boat moving across the screen up and down at a hundred intervals up and down by 20. You hear the seagulls in the background and the boating music. Okay, he enters region, creates scene two. When boat hits target, and that's the transition on that part. I will show you more about the game as we progress, but that was what I wanted to show you about that part of the game, okay? So, catch you in the next video.